There is one company in North America whose name is synonymous with large hydraulic excavators. That company is Coring. Coring has been an innovator in the field of hydraulic excavators since their introduction in the 1950s. In 1969, Coring introduced the large 1066. With it, innovative and profit-minded contractors set new records of productivity on big excavation jobs. In many cases, crawler drag lines and shovels were replaced by this big, productive digging machine. But the world of excavation keeps changing. Today, even larger hydraulic excavators are filling the needs of contractors and miners who need equipment that is productive and versatile enough to literally move mountains of earth. This is one of the largest inland waterway projects ever undertaken. Located in the southeastern United States, one section of this project is 11 miles long, one mile wide at the top, and over 100 feet deep. Millions of cubic yards of earth had to be excavated. It was a job perfect for large excavators. Four large coring machines were among the principal excavation tools used on the project. Equipped with eight cubic yard dippers, it took the excavators an average of four quick cycles to fill the 50-ton haul units used on the job. The key to the excavator's success was their ability to work under changing conditions created by frequent rains and the resulting wet conditions. When ground conditions were dry, the excavators sat at the top of the cut and loaded haul units positioned below them. Under those ideal conditions, production of over 1,000 cubic yards per hour per machine was accomplished. In wet conditions, versatility and a low 12 PSI ground bearing pressure gave the excavators an important edge over some other equipment on the job. Rubber tired scrapers often needed assistance from one or even two dozers to achieve full production. Wet ground would make the cycle time for these 24 cubic yard machines even longer. A drag line on the job could cast spoil above grade level. However, the long boom and cable arrangement created loading problems unless the trucks were carefully positioned at the bottom of the cut. Without an experienced operator, cycle times could be slow. There was also the danger the bucket or chains could damage the haul units. A shovel worked at the bottom of the face. Because of the wet conditions, Paul units had difficulty getting to the shovel, and its limited range affected efficient loading. A conveyor loader was put to use where ground conditions were ideal. However, the specialization which allowed the conveyor to produce in good conditions hampered its productivity in wet or tough digging. Often, rains created a quagmire at the lower portion of the cut. Yet production with excavators still continued at a rapid pace. The excavator's ability to load the trucks either below or at their level meant the haulers could also be positioned at the top of the cut. The long reach of the excavators allowed the haul units to be positioned away from the edge and out of wet areas. At times, after the heavy rains, the coring excavators were the first machines back to work. The net result of the excavator's flexibility was more production. The versatility of the big excavators provided yet another benefit on this project. Continued rains plagued the ditching, dewatering efforts, 
and additional ditching equipment was required to keep the project going. One of the coring excavators was placed on that assignment. Even when ditching, the machine continued to load trucks with the spoil from the ditch. Few, if any, other types of equipment had the excavator's versatility to move from high production jobs to specialized assignments such as this. The excavators stood out among the arsenal of equipment used on this project. They gave the contractor an extra edge of versatility and reliability. The excavators provided the production needed to keep the project going under challenging conditions. production capabilities of large excavators isn't limited to onshore operations. On a Lake Erie dredging project, the hard pan bottom stopped the use of a cutter head dredge. The contractor knew another tool, the drag line, would be a poor choice to replace the dredge. A drag line would not have enough breakout force to rip the hard pan. He needed a productive piece of equipment to complete the job of dredging a channel 30 feet deep, 200 feet wide, and 3,000 feet long. The contractor turned to coring experience. After consultation with a local distributor, a 1266 was selected to finish the job. High dipper tooth forces allowed the barge-mounted excavator to slice through the hard pan with ease. The fine control of the excavator allowed the operator to precisely load the spoil into the haul barges for top efficiency. The geometry of the boom and dipper arm allowed the operator to easily maintain a constant depth throughout the project. Production on the job was estimated at more than 450 cubic yards per hour. The high production exceeded expectations and got the job back on schedule and finished on time. On a Midwest Highway project, an innovative contractor was confronted with the problem of making a cut through wet ground consisting of rock and sandy soil. This hard, tough material presented less than a favorable situation for scraper use. The contractor decided upon using a large hydraulic excavator as the primary digging tool and a fleet of scrapers as hauling units. The choice proved to be a smart one. An unusually wet working season stopped almost all soil removal, except what could be loaded by the excavator. In addition, delivery problems left the contractor without the scrapers he had planned to use as haul units. The innovation of the contractor and the versatility of the excavator saved the day. Fortunately, the contractor was able to assemble a collection of locally owned dump trucks. Although these units were not as large as they should have been, they were the only trucks available. In addition, the machine did an excellent job of maintaining grade. 
This combination of high production excavation and fine grading left little finishing work to be done. Even with a 10 cubic yard dipper, the coring excavator operator was able to load these units with top precision. Under less than ideal conditions, the huge excavator frequently produced more than 1,000 cubic yards per hour. Despite setbacks, which could have stopped the project if other equipment had been used, the versatility of the big excavator kept the job going. At many mine and construction sites, a mixture of different types of equipment is used to obtain production goals. A front-end loader and excavator were both used to load coal at a western mine. The coal seam was 30 feet thick and sat on a seam of wet, muddy shale. The excavator was assigned the difficult task of loading the lower 12 feet of unshot coal. An excavator was selected for this job because wet conditions provided poor traction for a loader. In addition, a loader would have trouble removing the last few feet of coal without contaminating it with the underlying shale. The excavator dug below grade level and loaded the 150-ton haul units at grade level, keeping the haul units off the bottom of the muddy pit. Equipped with a 12-yard dipper, the machine loaded the haul units in 12 to 13 passes. Sure, precise hydraulic control, coupled with good visibility of the dipper, allowed the operator to cleanly peel the coal from the shale with little or no contamination. Good breakout forces and the design of the dipper teeth enabled the coring excavator to load the coal unshot. The combination of the precise control, the ability to see the dipper, and good breakout forces give excavators the edge when mining dipping seams or pockets of coal. These same features make coring excavators ideal tools in applications such as uranium, kaolin, bauxite, and other mining situations where pockets of higher grade minerals exist among formations of lesser quality or purity. The selectivity is an advantage in achieving maximum production to keep processing plants operating at high efficiency. With their fine control, big dipper capacities, and long reach, it's no wonder the large coring excavators are the machine's utility contractors turn to when they are challenged by big jobs. Jobs such as this project in the south central U.S. The contractor had to excavate a trench up to 60 feet in depth for 102-inch sewer pipe. This was the type of job which required the kind of equipment that has the size to meet high production requirements and the finesse to dig with precision. This was one of three coring excavators put on the job by two contractors to give them the extra edge they needed to do the job.
These contractors, like other contractors and miners around the country and around the world, have learned that when there's a big excavating job to be done, hydraulic excavators can provide the extra edge of productivity and versatility needed to keep their jobs going. And contractors know Coring is the company they can depend on for the best in large hydraulic excavators. Coring has sold more large hydraulic excavators in North America than any other manufacturer. Coring excavators are backed by a worldwide distribution network which provides sales and service backup, plus the expertise to help select the size of coring excavators which will do the most productive job.